Hi, welcome back. Today I will share six tips to speed up your affinity workflow. Let's quickly start with the first tip, using keyboard shortcuts. Use keyboard shortcuts for repeating tasks. For example, for duplicating layers, resetting zoom, and not to forget for switching between tools. Especially if you're starting with Affinity Photo, it might be tempting to use the context menus and the mouse, but try to force yourself to use the keyboard shortcuts. It will definitely speed up your workflow. Remember that you can always modify or create your own keyboard shortcuts. As a bonus, Affinity even allows you to save and load your shortcuts, which is very useful for backup purposes. I will share in another video the keyboard shortcuts any Affinity Photo user should know and use. Here is tip number two, using macros for day-to-day -day tasks. If your workflow involves a lot of repeating actions, using macros is definitely a must. The macros in Affinity do have some restrictions, but they are good enough to do daily simple tasks. Here is an example of a macro I use to add a set of adjustments for Instagram pictures. When I apply this, you can see how much time this saves. All my adjustment layers have been added with the exact values I have set up. All I need to do is, if needed, to adjust them. Macros can also be used in batch jobs, which is actually my next tip. Tip number three, batch jobs for multi-file actions. Batch jobs allow a number of image files to be processed with a specific processing instruction. These instructions will come from the macros you have created. A job example would be to resize all documents in a folder to a specific size or file format. You can also add macros to the job, which will be applied to each file processed. This way you can easily apply a color adjustment to a set of files, much quicker than opening them one by one. Tip number four, non-destructive editing. Try to do everything in a non-destructive way as much as possible. It saves a lot of time when you want to adjust or fine-tune a composition. For example, instead of using actions directly on a layer, try using additional pixel layers and masks. Another good example is trying to use live filters as much as possible. I know, some filters are not available as live filters. In that case, try using a merge visible and work on that copy, so you can easily undo or remove the effect. Tip number five, using snapshots. Especially when you cannot work non-destructively, using snapshots are ideal. I would advise that you make snapshots for every big change or just when you're experimenting. This way, you can easily go back and forth in time to a snapshot you have saved and undo some mistakes or revert back to an experiment you liked. Tip number six, templates. A final tip that really saves time if you're creating a lot of repeating documents is using the template function in Affinity. These are really useful for social media posts for example, I have a template for my video covers. Besides saving time, it also creates consistency in your output. Definitely worth using. I hope you like these tips. If you want detailed tutorials on these tips, please let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks very much for watching.